Right, this is, um, oh, I remember, it's Mr. and Mrs. Hardin that um, used to own the sweet shop in the, li in the little street in, ha in Appledore down the road. It's in New Street. So it's a little lane down the, down the bottom of the hill. You go up, up the little um, slope and then it's in behind this. So it's the houses. Unless you know where you're going in the village, you don't. You wouldn't have really known it was there. And um, when, when we used to go to school, um, sometimes on the way, or actually when we finished school, as a little treat some days, we were allowed to go down there and um, get a little treat of some sweets or something when we were on the way home from school evenings. So they were always open and it used to be in their little front room of their house. So it was like a house to look at on the outside, but it was a little sweet shop. And we all used to go there for our sweets and we all used to meet up outside and then go in for our sweets and then talk about the sweets when we came out. So it was good memories, good fun. But these, these um, ladies and gentlemen, were really, really nice and friendly and um, used to help us sort of check out what money we had to make sure we got we had enough money to get the right sweets. I used to like the little blackjack sweets in fruit salads and they were like, um, like a, um, I think it was like four for a penny, something like that. So we used to get quite a lot in them days. For, you can still get the sweets today, but I personally, I don't think they taste the same and um, obviously not that cheap either anymore. So yes, a lot has changed for the sweets that I used to get. They used to have scales with little weights okay. on them, rather than it all to be like what they say digital today, which is just comes up with a number. Those used to, um, when we were children, they used to have little weights of all different sizes to actually measure the sweets out. But it was nice to have the personal touch, whereas like we've got lots of big shops today, which you go into and the people don't really speak to each other, whereas you also going into a little shop like this, they always said, how are you, if you have a nice day, or how are you feeling? So it made everybody feel really happy to think that people cared. Oh, different now, because the shop is long gone now and it's just a house. So it looks no different now if you walk past it. But sometimes for the local people when they walk past it sometimes it does bring back memories you can remember people where they lived and, and things like that so yeah today you would not give it a second glance especially the younger generation but to some of us old people yes it does bring back memories <laughs>